What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So today's video is just a quick update, a quick garage video. Um, and I want to tell you a bit about the VFR project. Because when I uploaded my last video of this beautiful ninja that we have here, a lot of people said, hey, what happened to the project VFR? So I want to tell you about that and a few other updates as well. So first of all, on the ZX7R video, I did notice that the audio sucked. Sorry about that, but that is because um, I don't have my helmet because, well, because it's in pieces in Japan somewhere. So this helmet here, this Shoei, Shoei helmet was sent to me free of charge by the noob biker. So I told him, dude, I've bought this bike, I've got no money left, but I need to pick it up and I haven't got a helmet. And he said, oh, I've got a spare helmet, I'll send it to you. So this helmet he sent to me and I kind of rushed to get it um, to like a motor vlog setup and I didn't really do it properly. So bad on me, but good on New Biker. So everyone, if you haven't heard of New Biker, I will put his channel link in the description below. And if you'd be so kind as to, as to subscribe to him, that would be fantastic. Right, so on with the VFR project. So first of all, there is the frame up there. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that. So the bike is completely apart now. The frame is, uh, the frame, engine, swing arm, wheels, brakes, everything's off it. The loom is off, off the bike. There's nothing left now. It's just a, a frame and a box of bits. <coughs> Excuse me, you can't tell I've been drinking, can you? <coughs> Right, so the plan for the VFR is I want to make it into a street fighter, as I've told you, but it will take time. So right here we have the standard exhaust manifold, which I sold on eBay. And here we have a beautiful aftermarket stainless manifold. But unfortunately, it's got some dents here, so that needs repairing. So... I've also sold all of the plastics, the side fairings, the nose cone, the seat fairing, the seat itself, everything has gone on eBay. I think I sold everything for £350, which is pretty good, and that will contribute towards the project. So first things first, the frame, the swing arm, uh, the engine covers like the, the stator cover, uh, the clutch cover and the cam covers all have to be powder coated. So I want all of these things to be done in satin black. So the frame will be black, the swing arm will be black and it will look rather nice. But all these sort of things, they're gonna take time and money. So I'm expecting this project to be finished by next spring. And I don't think I'm gonna be making too many update videos about today I did this, tomorrow I'm doing this, it'll just, I'm not sure if it's going to be worth making a video series about it, but hopefully it will get done. Now, the engine itself, uh, this is the old engine, and then the new engine is down there. Um, so the, the old engine, there's a lot of parts that I need to keep, so we've got all these hoses, all these hoses, um, obviously the throttle bodies, uh, the air box. There's a lot of sensors down there as well, like there's a coolant temperature sensor and knock sensor. All these things need to be kept. Now I need to test them all to make sure they're all fully working. Um, the wiring harness, the loom is here. Um, now these two plugs here are the most important. This, these are the plugs that go to the ECU. So I'm gonna go kind of bare bones with the loom. As long as the engine runs, and I've got headlights, rear lights, and indicators, then I'm, I'm happy. I'm not worried about all the fancy stuff that a VFR has that are good for commuters. I just want it to run and be legal. So I'm gonna be going to town on the wiring harness. Um, now the forks as well, there's one of the forks which is stuck to the carbon fiber mudguard because 
almost every single bolt on this bike was a complete bastard to get out. So I don't have my tools yet because my tools are in Japan. So I borrowed some of my um, cousin's uh, tools to try and get stuff off, but they were 12 point sockets instead of six. Yeah, it, it was just a nightmare. But eventually I got it all, all in, well, all apart and in, in a big box of parts now. But yeah, a, a lot of the stuff now is is cleaning, checking stuff, and buying a lot of standard parts like the, the hoses, not the hoses. What do you call them? The boots that hold the throttle bodies to the cylinder heads. Every single one of the bands, the hose clamps, bands, was fucked. So. I couldn't get the throttle bodies off the engine, so I literally had to uh, remove the swing arm off the bike, I removed the forks off the bike, and I had to literally lift the frame off the bike. Now, I've got it up on this table, but yeah, these bands here, it might be hard to tell that. The uppers, the lowers are okay, but the uppers, they're just rusty as fuck, so there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done um, it's going to take time now so basically yeah that my update is that the project is going to go ahead but it will take a lot of time and a lot of money so in the meantime the reason that I bought this old girl the ninja is because I needed a bike I need to have two wheels um, so I knew the VFR project was going to take a long time but anyway I've got this old girl beautiful old girl and together we're going to go and explore some of the great roads that the UK has to offer so next week um, I managed to find the road that Top Gear I don't know if you remember but back in the day Top Gear always used to used to drive on these beautiful roads with no traffic no speed cameras and beautiful scenery um, I found it and it's actually not a million miles away from where I am so next week, as long as the weather is okay, I'm gonna take the, the Ninja out to that road, do another video on that. And hopefully by then I will have managed to sort the audio out because I do realize that the setup that I was running on new biker's helmet wasn't very good. There was lots of popping and the audio wasn't very good. So I apologize for that, but I will get it sorted. But anyway, that's basically it for the VFR project update but you can expect more content from my beautiful oh look at that bike she's so gorgeous my beautiful ZX7R so see you guys in the next video peace